the spinal twist. So you spread your legs as far as you can. Stagger yourself a bit, make sure nobody hits in your heels. Alright, so then the right hand to your left, left toes, and twist. And then we'll twist the other way. Circle rotation now to the clockwise. Okay. Roll your head to the right and to the back. To the left and to the front. And now counterclockwise to the left. Next up is uh, pranayam, which is the breathing. So we start off very simply. Just become familiar with how um, you know the breathing mechanism works in the body. Right. So um, we have our lungs, right, and there's various uh, you know organs and muscles that we have that can control the air in our lungs. Um, so so the main one's actually the. Um, uh, abdominal breathing, where you use your diaphragm, right? So you uh, you push your stomach out, which pulls your diaphragm down, and basically that uh, brings air down low into your lungs. So you just put your hand on your stomach, you push your, you breathe in by pushing your stomach out, and exhale by squeezing your stomach back in. So when this type of breathing, you try to keep your chest. Don't, don't contract, don't change your chest, leave your chest the same and your shoulders the same. Only move your stomach to breathe. So the idea is to become very conscious of, uh, of how you breathe and, and what parts of your, uh, you know, your anatomy you use when you breathe. Right. The next one is uh, basically chest breathing. So now this time, keep your stomach still. And try to only expand your chest. So, um, you know. So just, uh, just you kind of expand your ribcage. 
So when you inhale, just expand your ribcage and let the air come in, and then squeeze your ribcage to get the air out. Um, upper breathing with your shoulders. And it's a very, very shallow breath. Right? So you move your, your, your collarbone and your shoulders will move a bit. But basically, you're just feeling the air at the top part of your lungs. Try to, without moving, so you don't move your stomach, you don't move your chest. Only feel the air coming into the top part, the very top part of your lungs only. So you only feel like an expansion in this part of your chest, this part of your body. So the, um, so the final type of breathing is where you combine all three, right? So you kind of consciously, you know, inhale from your stomach, push your diaphragm down, pull the air down low, expand your chest, and also fill your shoulders, right? So you completely fill your, your lungs from top to bottom with air, right? So it's a very full, deep, it's basically as full as deep as breath you can take. And it's called uh, yogic breathing, okay? So give that a try. Fill your stomach. Chest expand, with the shoulders. And then when you exhale, you do the reverse. You let the air out of your shoulders first, then your chest, then your diaphragm. So, um, so what I discovered when I, you know, as I continue practicing sickness is that um, you can't really do much more for your breathing capacity with your, with your chest and your shoulders, but you can do a lot with your, with your diaphragm, right? Uh, my diaphragm is probably, you know, I don't know, three, four times as flexible as it, as it was, right? In terms of the amount of air that I can, the amount I can go down and stretch and pull air into my lungs, it's just, uh, you know, orders of magnitude more than what it used to be when I started. <laughs> 